Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com. I'm gonna do a quick video regarding an Overlock uh, 6814S. Uh, but the tables are gonna be the same for 6814, 6816, 6843. These are Overlock surgery machine, industrial machine. So the K legs are the same for every type of machine. I just want to show you how the K-Legs work. When you receive the machine, you're going to have two upright. The K-Legs, this and this part. You pull them back together, far away from each other. This is the adjustable top part that goes inside. You get eight bolt, huge, monster screws. Two back here, two back here, and two for back here and two for here. So this could be adjusted up and down. As you see, there are holes for the table. This is the bracelet in the back. There will be hold for that. And there's gonna be screw for that. And this is the bar in the bottom where the pedal goes. On the regular machine, you're gonna have one pedal. On the overlock machine or cover stitch machine, you're gonna have two pedals. One to run the table motor and one to adjust the um, the fit so on all sewing machine any type of machine when they have calyx this is the way uh, you assemble them this is going to be the way it's going to be very easy anybody could do it you know and then when you want to put the table on i'm going to put you on pause and we're going to go to the next location that we have the other accessory attached and uh, you'll see okay so we are back and this is the calyx. This, you're gonna get all of this in the box. This is the, what we call cast pedal. It's for adjusting the, um, lifting the foot, okay? This is the regular pedal. You get all the accessories. These are the two hinges. This could be adjusted to the left, to the right, all of these things according to your uh, need. If you left feet, right feet, as I was saying, this could be adjusted. Left, right, top, low, high, whatever you need to do. This the pedal, the hinge are included, everything is included. The ball joint, this is the bar that goes here. The ball, ball joint goes to the motor. Now, this is what we call brushless servo motor. Even if you have a regular servo motor, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same thing, same way that you install. Now, again, this is for overlock 6814 machine. It would be the same. All the tables would be the same. The drawer goes back here, and I'm gonna lift this to see how we're gonna do the bottom. Very simple. Everything is done. The table, there are holes here. For the motor, you see, the three holes are already in there. Everything is included inside that motor to be assembled here. Three holes, three screws here. You don't need to do anything. The control box goes right here. Could be further here. It could be to the left hand side. Preferences, whatever you need to do. And before you put this table on, here we have a lower table, and pull it back. You put this one on here. One, two, three, four, five long screws that go down and hold this lower table, okay? You don't need to tie them when you put them on. You just put them on, you put the nuts on in the bottom, all right? If you come close, you see, you have screw, you're gonna have a nut here, and then you're gonna have a washer, and then nut, washer, again on the bottom the same way. So it will hold, you could bring up and down, left or right, those holes are big, so you could adjust it. This is the way you're gonna adjust it, see? If you show them the here, the way it's gonna be. You see this one? Bottom, top, they could be loose. 
till you drop in the machine so you could adjust it so you could get flush so this is the second first you make the legs then you put this one on the table turn it back and then put it the way I'm putting it right now put the drawer inside and everything so okay so we did the legs we did the that's the K legs we did the pedals we put in the lower table and the upper table now the bracket people make a lot of mistake they put the bracket on top the bracket the aluminium part goes underneath okay all of these things come in the head for the sewing machine two screws and two screws here one two three four long screws inside the sewing machine head you have a box like this inside there it would be your five spool thread stand your sewing machine oil your owner's manual parts list the chute that goes right here now let me show you this thing before we go that's the oiler to put oil these are a bunch of extra stuff and the chain for the foot pedal okay and this is the chute that goes here and the, well the the extra cut stuff goes down you will have this one you wouldn't know what it is it's okay it sits right here just like this 100 percent okay you close when you close the door i'm gonna put everything back here i'm gonna show you when you close it'll be beautiful that's it now we're gonna pause and we're gonna go to the next machine again this is a 6814s but the machine for juki the heads are all the same so you don't need to look on my youtube channel for that exact model okay so to understand the way you see there will be a hole inside the table for that first stand okay it is very important please get, give a wide shot that you the way you do it is the way you see it right here right all the arms everything has to be the same it's you're gonna get in two piece poles the lower one goes inside the upper one there is a fastener that fastens you have two of these you see now if you don't have anything here it's okay this is for five thread if you had a five thread machine there would be another thread holder the same way that you see here you could adjust it you run the thread from here through the hole through here and then on the bottom you see here we just took the machine out and we dropped it in the cushion that was down there this is the shoot all you have to do you put the pedal you put the belt inside the wheel and then you tighten these three holes one two three and put it in and put it inside and the belt goes around this is already sewing machine all ready to go oil we just dropped something it's okay this is the funnel the oil goes right here you drop everything in there everything in here and then you tie this all right and when you do this then when you work with the machine you see that uh the oil will pump out the threading everything is right here close up please right close 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 here you go it tells you exactly how everything is going right there needle is D dx27 b27 right here when you turn on the machine on and off higher speed lower speed low come, come on close up close up lower higher speed needle position there was a needle position 
this one she doesn't have and this one is reverse sometimes when you plug it in depend with what part of the world you're in because of the current electricity sometimes you see the machine going backward all you have to do press the blue and then just show them that the overall this is a great sewing machine uh, table and legs by the way juki does not make any legs or table or motor juki only makes machine People sometimes they come and say, hey, I ordered a Juki machine. How come it's a new tech on the table? New tech makes tables. New tech makes motor. New tech makes a lot of accessories. Like here, new tech. See that one? New tech. Everything goes inside here. And these are all the accessories that you have. Needle, a screwdriver, all the stuff. Thank you for watching. Uh, we did this uh, video in a rush. And by the way, it's got an LED lamp too. So it's gonna be four or five parts. I'm gonna collect them all together. Hopefully work out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jasmine. Please share, like, and uh, what else? Subscribe. Subscribe, uh, press the bell, and have a- Golden day. Golden day. Thank you for watching.